Hi everybody, it's Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today. And today we're going to share some fun demonstrator swap holiday cards. These cards were all done with sets from the Fall Occasions catalog. So we're going to go through the catalog and I'm going to show you the set and then I'll show you the cards that were produced. So these, there's over 30 cards here to share and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started because it's going to take us a little bit of time. But I'll have all the photos of the cards on my Tuesday newsletter, the Show and Tell News. So if you haven't subscribed and you want photos of those cards, then subscribe. You can link this below in the comments. So get on board and come share along all your stampin' fun with me. Okay, so let's get started. So the first set I'm going to share with you is this Merry Christmas to All. It's really more of a... Um, word set, a, a greeting set, but look how much fun they did putting it together. So here's the first card, okay, and this has got a slide out um, card, so you could have your personal message in there, and that fun tree embellishment up there, and this is using some of the designer series paper in the catalog. So there's the first one, and then this one is a little, this is done with a note card, okay, there's beautiful designer series paper, and then she used the set to create the embellishment on the front. And one more. This one she's got the gold glimmer paper with some more of that beautiful paper. And then she's embossed in gold on vellum and put that up on uh, the vanilla card. Okay, so let's keep going. Alright, so the next one is the Making Christmas Bright set. And so here's the first one. There's one done in our blues. And then here's another one done. Now these are easel cards. So really simply, she just put a rhinestone in the card. And so those will stand up like an easel card. This one too. See how much fun that is for the fun easel cards? So great use of layering and stamping, but then a really fun design too. So, isn't that nifty? And I love, I love the lights. I love lights at Christmas time anyway, but I love the lights on that card. So, bravo to that stamper. Okay. This one is the Farmhouse Christmas stamp set. So here is using the Merry Christmas, wishing you a season full of peace, wonder, and love. Layering some embossed paper. Um, with our folder embossing and then putting on the different layers. Okay, so that's a really beautiful card. Then she had fun doing a Halloween themed card and look at the intricate um, fence here. Isn't that nifty? And that's with the dies. And then here is your uh, truck card. I like the traditional Christmas truck cards with those trees in the back. Those are always a lot of fun. Okay, so there's that. Alright, now who doesn't love Santa sets, right? Signs of Santa. So, Signs of Santa. This one has a fun window with Mrs. Claus there, and that's a spinner card. So you just put that on some twine, and then she'll spin. So that's a really fun three-dimensional card. Wishing you everything on your list. Good old Santa. And then we have this one here. Okay, a joyful Christmas from all of us using the designer series paper, doing a die cut, and then using all those fun embellishments you can get on page 19. So that one is our signs of Santa. I think Mrs. Claus is maybe my favorite of those, but they're all super cute. Okay, now continuing on with this fun elf theme, we've got the candy cane season set. Okay. So be jolly. Tis the sweet season. And then I love doing wreath cards when you're stamping the wreath out of other stamps instead of just a wreath stamp. So that one's a fun 4x4 four four card there. Which would make great as like a, a embellished gift tag or a little bit bigger teacher note. So I think those are all awfully cute. Alright, now these next ones aren't really Christmas. They're more along the line of um, fall cards. It looks like maybe I didn't put the uh, tag in my book, so let me 
scroll through for a second and find the page if I can. Hopefully find oh there it is. All right, wishing you well. I didn't have a tag, it was just squished down. All right, wishing you well. So this is more of a fall set, but you know, you could use these images all year. So we have um, Season's Greeting, right? With that same idea of the wreath. Just a note, and that's mm -hmm. embossed in the copper. Isn't that fun? And then she tied that in with a designer series paper that's got that same copper uh, tones to it. And then I just love this sweet card. She embossed with that wood grain folder, and then she stamped and added the two colors. So I think that's a really great um, card, maybe for a Thanksgiving card. All right, moving on, we're going to have some snowmen cards, right? Who doesn't love snowmen at Christmas time? So here's a snowman skating. I love that green and purple combination. Love never melts. Isn't that a fun card with the sweethearts? And then this one over the top card. Let me show you what happens here. So here's the front, right? We've got our background buffalo check uh, stamp and then watch this card explode. So it opens up like this and look at all those fun snowmen inside. Isn't that adorable? I, don't, I was like, whoa, look at that card. I couldn't wait to share this one with you. So I think that's a fantastic card. A little bit of work, but uh, truly worth worth it. So for someone special, for those card worthy folks, that might be a card you might want to look at. All right, now here is beautiful blizzard. All right, snowflakes for Christmas time for the holidays. So we've got, if a hug were snowflake, I'm sending you a blizzard. That's kind of cute. This one has got the um, snowflakes done. I think they did that with the um, shimmer paint, which is in the catalog again this winter. And then here's a really nice, elegant red and crumb cake card using the colors in that ribbon to create that one. All right, let's move on. Oh, Country Home. I really like this set. I have not added it to my personal collection yet, but I am seeing beautiful things done with it. So here is Country Home. Again, that's with that Buffalo Check background stamp. This one's using the designer series paper. And then here's that chicken wire element, okay? They say this is die cut foil sheets. Use in one piece as a background or cut into smaller pieces as accents. So that comes pre die cut for you. And if this is the kind of thing that really makes you go wild for cards, that's a really fun element to use. So there's that one. And then here's this one, and it's got that really fun um, background with the, the tile, the tin tile plate there. And she's done that on the silver metallic paper. So there's three using the Country Home set. All right, now one last one here is the Many Blessings. Now this one's a really great one if like me, you like to color your images, right? So here is Thankful for You Every Day. I love the sunflowers and the way she mounted all that up. Here's another one that uses that tin tile plate as well. Many blessings, right? And all those fun blends you can use to different colors to color in your pumpkins and gourds. And then being a holiday swap, obviously she did a Merry Christmas one. And this paper has got like a fluffy um, embellishment on it. It's not embossed, but it's like raised up flocking kind of. So that's kind of fun. All right, guys. So I hope you're getting excited with all the fun ideas that I'm sharing with you and all the other demonstrators I'm sure are sharing with you. Um, again, like I said, on the Tuesday Show and Tell, I'll have all the cards, um, photos for you, so you won't miss anything if you're on the Show and Tell newsletter subscription, okay? And you can get a better look at all of these fantastic cards now, I've got three of my own that I did for the swap that I didn't share with you today. They're going to be coming out in videos this month. So I'll have three up close and personal cards for you. I'll take you through step by step like always. But I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you enjoyed all the fun ideas. And there we go. I'll see you again soon for another Stampin' Show and Tell. Thanks, everybody. Do some fun stamping. Bye-bye.